Hello everybody, you're joining me at Bristol Temple Mead Railway Station. Me, Sam Smalls, trained to more her about another vlog. Today I'm actually going to be doing another day ranger vlog. Never got done one of these in like eight months. But today I'm travelling on the uh, Heart of Wessex day ranger. I'm just uh, finding it for you guys, which is that one. For £16.50 with the rail card. And it is valid basically on the heart of Wessex line all the way down to Weymouth. I'm not going to go all the way down to Weymouth though because I don't have time to do it today. Uh, it's also valid towards Swindon, Seven Beach which is where I'm going first and also down towards Bath and all the areas as well. You can't use it down uh, towards Western Supermare but they do have a separate other day range. I think it's a Freedom Bristol Pass for that one but I'm not doing that day range today. I'm doing the uh, heart of Wessex one which means I can jump off jump on and off at any of the stations I want to. It's valid after 9.30 with a rail card from Monday to Friday. And then Saturday, Sundays and bank holidays, it is valid all day. So I'm just going to jump on the first train behind me, which uh, let me see what my number is actually before I jump on it. Should check real time trains really. We're jumping on 165218 take me to uh, Stapleton Road I believe because we're going to have a look at that station first and then I'm going to change trains there to get a train towards Seven Beach we're also going to be doing a vlog within a vlog today because I'm also going to do a vlog on Portway Park and Ride station which opened last week but that's going to be a separate vlog so I do hope you enjoy the, uh, the vlog and stay tuned I think I'm the only one on this train at the moment because they're the fastest there, that's the filter that we would four minutes before this one leaves. And this one is a local stop of that stops at uh, Lawrence Hill and Stapleton Road. So the only passengers that would really be on board are passengers for Lawrence Hill and Stapleton Road. Annoyingly, I just missed one as well. Never mind. It's only going to be about a six to eight minute uh, wait at uh, Stapleton Road because I'm just going to go there purely to tip that one off. And then we're going to go down to where. Uh, the Seven Beach branch. God, you won't miss where you are with that big sign. I'll tell you that one for sure. Right here everyone, we now made it to uh, Stapleton Road Railway Station, Great Western Railway managed and it's got two platforms, again it gets a tick for me, but just got a just a seven minute wait now here for the train towards uh, Seven Beach, it's the Avonmouth train I believe we're getting on now, because some go to uh, Seven Beach, I think it's hour to Seven Beach and then half hour way to Avonmouth, because it's only a single line section, but there is two passing points at Clifton Down and Avonmouth and that's what we're going to go next Clifton Down after the station uh, so we're just waiting for this Great Western Railway service to take me in and I'm having fun the feeling this one's going to be a busier one because there's a fair few people waiting on the platform here at Stapleton Road here yeah, right is our ride to Clifton Down we're getting on 165 at 130 the next station is Montpellier this is a Great Western Railway service to Avonmouth.
Right here, now I'm ready to clip them down. Tick. This is also the passing point on the uh, Seven Beach line because normally you get two trains in here at the same time, you do. I guess one's really delayed. Anyway, we've got half an hour here. There's a shopping centre. Might go see if they've got anything for lunch in there. If not, I'll get something uh, elsewhere. It's also going to be quite warm today. In fact, the warmest day in the UK we've had for about four weeks. We've had all that horrible rain and now we've got two, three nice days. I say that because it's gone a bit hazy now for sunshine, but still highs of 25 degrees today. So I've got my uh, shorts on and the hoodie may come off a bit later on if I get a bit warm. But for now, there's a nice breeze, so I'm keeping the hoodie on. So I'm going to briefly... Uh, end this vlog here but i'm going to resume it when i get towards seven beach because i'm going to temporarily start another vlog which is going to be about portway park and ride the newest railway station in britain so make sure if you didn't see that vlog i'll link up in the right hand corner of the screen up there one of the corners uh, i could work for great western rail with this green t-shirt on actually no because that t-shirt is a bit more of a darker color anyway that's a bit of a random we're now here at Avonmouth, and I know I said I was going to pick up the vlog when we get to Seven Beach, but we've actually got to change trains again. We've got half an hour here at Avonmouth to get to uh, Seven Beach. Now it's really warmed up. Now this is the warmest it's been in a long time, so the hoodie has actually come off for once, and it's in my bag because I was sweating as hell by the time I got to Portway Park and Ride. But at least I'm here now uh, at uh, Avonmouth, and I've managed to take my uh, hoodie off. So we'll go and wait for this 12 13. Great Western Railway service to take me to Seven Beach. Then I've got about 45 minutes at Seven Beach, but the train actually sits on the platform for ages. So, but before we get back on the train, I'm going to take you guys to see some stunning views of the River Seven. There's no proper beach there, but there is some gorgeous views of the River Seven at Seven Beach, which I'll show you guys when we get there. But also, Avonmouth, tick. Well, there's also another crossing here at Avonmouth. Sadly though, I don't have time to film it though, because uh, Aiken Mouth is another passing point, so the other train comes at the same time as my train towards, uh, that was a nice colour on that van, <laughs> to, at the same time as my train towards Seven Beach. Right here, here comes my train to to Seven Beach. Let me get a joint photo of them. Right, they're getting on 165, 108. Right, we're on the uh, train towards Seven Beach now. And I must say, here at the Great Western Railway Network, they check the tickets all the time, which is really, really good to see because back where I'm from in the West Midlands, hardly ever check the train tickets, which is silly because uh, loads of people have been fair dodging up my way, so I'm glad they're checking the tickets on the uh, Great Western Railway Network. Right, I'm not getting off, but let's have a peer out. This is St Andrews Road, the least through station in Bristol. The trains are quite infrequent here. But I'm not getting off, I just thought I'd show you it quickly. Right, now I've made it to uh, Seven Beach. The train actually sits here for just over half an hour, so I'm going to go have a look at the air with the Seven. We are. Well, before we get the train back to Bristol, because it's not due back out until 13.01. But Seven Beach, tick, end of the line. Now let's go take you guys over to the River Seven and get some shots and probably have some lunch before we get this train back up to Bristol. I'm going to ride the full journey. Right, what a view of Seven Beach. I'm not going to go down there because you can't go down there, but it's a bit muddy. It is. But I'll show you a view of uh, Seven Beach and the River Seven. Right, so this is the uh, River Seven, and I believe over there is actually Wales. This is the uh, River Seven that divides England and Wales, and that is the M4 bridge that goes to and from Wales. It does. And then, uh, yeah, this is the little Seven Beach. So I presume that mud bit is what they classify as the beach. But the uh, water looks nice. It's a shame it's not a bit more in because it probably would have been up, looked a bit more nicer if it was in. But I'll get some pictures. But if that wasn't a motorway bridge, that would be a stunning bridge. It is anyway, but it's just a shame it's a motorway and not. It'd like it'd be cool if you could walk over that bridge. It'd be a bit of a long walk there, wouldn't it? But yeah, this is some of the uh, views. 
Yeah, by the looks of it, there's a tiny little bit of sand down there where there's some people. I'm stood on the wall, by the way, guys, in case you're wondering why I'm a sooty high up. But yeah, some really nice uh, views of the River Seven. At least we've got a nice sunny day for it too. It's a bit hazy and cloudy now, but at least it's not raining. Right, whoever decided to platform spot the 1346 Great Western Railway service to Warminster at Bristol actually loved them because it was originally supposed to go from 15 instead of 3 and I was looking at trains to Bath and I seen that there was one in 3 minutes after my train to Seven Beach got in but my train to Seven Beach got in about 90 seconds early and this train was being spotted to platform 3 so I had about 3 or 4 minutes to catch it so I've made on to this train to Bath Spa and that is the next destination we're going to visit because I've never visited that station so I'm going to go and have a look at that station as for part of my day ranger ticket but that was a literally quick dash across the, from the trains at Bristol Temple Meads that's not actually a valid connection guys by the way so if you have a change in there that's not a valid connection you would have to wait for the next train to Bath Spa I'm just very lucky here's Bristol Depot just over there Right, show, ladies and gentlemen, now I made it to Bath Spa, Great Western Railway, when with two platforms. I've only got a few minutes here, in fact, my train to Bristol just pulled in 165112. I will spend a bit more time here, and never time, I will spend a bit more time at the station, and never time, but for now, I've just come here, made to take it off, so Bath Spa, tick. Now let's hop on the train back towards Bristol. Right, I'm on this train towards Bristol now. Now, I'm going to attempt to change to go to Bristol Parkway because there's a 317 drag. There is. But the problem is, I arrive at Bristol Parkway at the exact same time. So I have a feeling, feeling we might miss it. But we're going to go and attempt to get it. If not, it's not a big deal because I did get a drag at um, Milton Keynes back in um, April. But I'm going to hope and pray we get this 317 drag. And that it's got because it was delayed earlier, but now it looks like it's caught back up. If not, I don't know what the plan for the rest of the day is because I'm not booked out of Bristol until 25 to 5. But I'm going to attempt to go get this 317 drag at Bristol. Yeah, now I basically just went to our bath spa just to take it off for a flying visit. This is and so I could show you guys where well, I'm the ticket you can go to because you can go to Bath the and Swindon. And as I mentioned this at the start of the vlog, you can get all the way to Weymouth, but I'm not Bristol doing that today. Down, we're getting on here 153 158 to Bristol Parkway 158767. Let's hop on board. Right now, on the uh, Worcester service going to Bristol Parkway, on here. and good news provided we're not delayed, that 317 is now eight minutes late again. Yeah, so it's going to pass through roughly about five or six minutes after I arrive at uh, Bristol Parkway. So, we're going to get that drag and probably head on a train back towards Bristol Temple Beach because I can't go beyond Yate because my day range is not valid past Yate. It isn't, it's only valid up until Yate via Bristol Parkway. Oh yeah, it is. It's stopping.
your attention please, we are sorry to announce that the 14.35 Cardiff Central service has now... Right then folks, now I made it to Bristol Parkway. I have already filmed it this year, so I'm not going to be getting any of the action mainly besides a few freight. We saw that 317 drag by 37, that was epic. Just by the skin of my teeth managed to see that because it got delayed again by another seven, eight minutes. So we got that through Bristol Parkway. Now there's another movement due, there is, about 25 past three. I was actually going to go on the train back to Bristol at 20 past three, but I've just seen there's another Great Western Railway service at 10 to four, which will get me in Bristol in time for that 16.35 back to Birmingham. If the worst comes to the worst, I can actually get that Bristol train from here because I'm going to have to break my journey up. I am, but hopefully all goes to plan and I'll get that uh, uh, Great Western service and cross-country service towards Bristol because it'll be, it would help a lot more because my seat reservations are having been buggered up because obviously I did split ticket in at Cheltenham Spa. Anyway, I'm going to stop grabbing on. I'm going to get some, maybe one more cup of a freight train here before I make my way back towards Bristol Temple Meads. <laughs> We've got a fair few uh, 66 sheds uh, hanging around the station. 66.594 and 66.598. Not sure what that one is though, but I won't be able to get a proper shot of that one because the 756 is there. That's cool. And at the far end of the platform, that's the next train to arrive on platform number two. Will be your South Wales service calling at Newport, Cardiff, Bridgend, Port Talbot, Neath, Swansea, and stations to Carmarthen. Got sixty six four one eight. Right, we're heading back to Bristol Temple Meads on 165118, we are. Oh, that's a nice breeze. To join me back at Bristol Temple Meads Railway Station for the final change of the day. I've got 35 minutes before my train back to Birmingham. Uh, so I'm going to end this vlog here off the heart of Wessex Day Ranger. As mentioned, you can use it all the way down to Weymouth. I just used it around the Bristol area and towards Bath and also the Seven Beach Branch, but I think it did get my money's worth, but as much you can, you, if you wanted to, you could ride the train all the way from Bristol Temple Meads to Weymouth. Maybe I'll do that one day. But I do hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you want to become a member of the channel for small exclusive packs, there's a join button down there. Um, then uh, like the vlog if you enjoyed it. Comment down below some feedback would be appreciated. And if not yet, subscribe. Consider subscribing, it's free. And have the bell for all notifications so you don't miss any future videos or live streams. Alright, take care everybody. Bye, guys. Peace out.